Welcome to Hood Champion Boxing and Sports. In boxing, you find a way to win or you find a way to lose. Jake Paul better not hurt Mike Tyson. That's what the Mike Tyson fans are saying. You know, even I'm saying that. At this point, when it comes to Jake Paul, right, there's a lot of things I like about him. The fact that he's allowing himself to be vulnerable uh, in a very, you know, uh, unforgiving sport like boxing. And, you know, be able to maneuver himself the way he's been able to maneuver himself. I like the fact that he stands up against bullying. I like the fact that he's taking an interest in female boxers and boxers as a whole to try to improve the sport. And I like that he's turned a lot of negativity with him as a young man and people telling him basically like, hey, you're never going to amount to crap and happen to evolve himself into what he is today, okay? That, that being said, that being said, I got to tell Jake Paul, um, and it's actually, it's, it's not a direct order or anything. It's more of a kind request and a, 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 and the most respectful way for him to hold his horses and stop taking it to the stoop. The, the, look, 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 man. It's it's over. We, we, we know what you're up to, Jake Paul. We see you out here fighting these MMA fighters. We gave you a pass in the beginning, Robinson, then you got the, uh, the guy after that. Um, but the curly hair, Ben Askren, I'll be in there to check it. Uh, ben Askren, then the Tyron Woodley fights. I mean, we, 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 we kind of gave you a pass on those. A lot of us thought Woodley was going to beat you. There's obviously something something there to Jake Paul. But, but what we're seeing in Jake Paul isn't what we need to see to take him serious against truly active fighters. Is Jake Paul a boxer? He's a boxer. Man, I've been training for a while now. He's a boxer. Okay, but is he ready to go and fight Diego Pacheco, Demetrius Andre? <laughs> nah, you know what I'm saying? He ain't even ready to fight goddamn Beetlejuice. But this thing about Mike Tyson, this is another clear case of a cherry pick. Most of his cherry picks, they've gone right. Is this one going to go wrong for Jake Paul? I, I want to say yeah. I want to say Mike Tyson is going to step to him. I want to say Mike Tyson is just, he's in front of you one moment, then he's to the left, he's to the right in a blink of an eye, and you're like, God damn. I, I want to say that Mike Tyson at age 58, 30 years older than Jake Paul, can still do those things. Now, we may see glimpses of the old Mike Tyson, and believe you me, if he can get to the left, get to the right, and hit Jake Paul with, to me, was what his uh what was his um his signature shot, which was that goddamn hook, hook to the body, then uppercut. Lord have mercy, Jake Paul's out of here. Mike Tyson's shorter than Jake Paul, and Mike Tyson, I think Jake Paul's gonna make the mistake and try to get in close with him. And I think that's where you may see Jake Paul try to hit him on a break and do something dirty. But if if he can't tie up Mike Tyson and Mike Tyson has anything left in him. And he can shoot that shot to the body, then come with that uppercut. Jake Paul's gonna get knocked out. But let's say, let's let's just say, okay, Jake Paul gets in there, eight two-minute rounds, right? And all of a sudden, Jake Paul puts the bing bings on Mike Tyson. And I don't mean bing bing, I mean knock him out cold. Have Mike Tyson in there shitting on himself. I don't think, and I said this in a live, I don't think Jake Paul's gonna make it out of that ring. Uh unscathed. I don't. Because cause it's, it's at a point now to where you want to fight Mike Tyson, the former baddest man on the planet, right? That sounds good, but Mike Tyson's 58. I'm 49. Never ever in my life came anything close to Mike Tyson in a boxing ring. Nowhere, nowhere near that. But I think Jake Paul will get more respect fighting a guy like me. 49, uh, you know, kind of did some boxing, trained a lot, was in shape, lifted a lot of weights, a military veteran. I think they could spin that pretty nicely. Plus, my real name is, of course, is not Hood Goddamn Champion. But I think you would say Jake Paul versus Hood Champion. People find, oh, he's 49. And when they... They could create a storyline to make it seem like I'm some G.I. Joe and shit, right? They could do that with any veteran. 
Once a person hears veteran, they start thinking, oh, they're tough guys, they're killing machines. That is not the case. I'm six feet tall. I think Jake Paul is 6'2". Uh, Mike Tyson, 5'10", 5'11". But, but anyway, I think more people would be like, maybe give him a pass for beating someone like me, even though I'm nothing, nowhere remotely close to anything, uh, any of these professional boxers. I'm not even going to come out here in front. I can hold my own, but nothing like that shit, right? But, but what I'm getting at is, I think they'd be like, okay, well, the guy's 49. You know, he's a tomato can. That's how they probably describe it. Who is this guy? He's a tomato can. But I don't think no one will turn up their nose quite the way, even though it's Mike Tyson, they're going to turn up their nose at if he gets in and hurts Mike Tyson. And I truly believe Jake Paul, wherever he goes, if, if in fact he just happens to catch Mike Tyson with a big shot and hurt him, I mean hurt him, I, th I just think somebody will run up on Jake Paul. I do. I think he needs to be careful because this shit is, is, is not cool, man. And I understand Mike Tyson still feels that he's that guy. He still feels, you know, that he, he can get in there and he can knock out Jake Paul. Jake Paul's a joke. I, I get it. I, look, I put it to you this way. My 14-year-old, uh, he played, they, all my sons play sports, but a 14-year-old, super athletic, right? And I'm like, yo, man, you know where you can outrun me. You know what I'm saying? And, you know, we got out there and we were playing uh, out there in this football field and, you know, we were racing and shit. And, and let me tell you something. I, I realized then that I ain't, the, I ain't the guy I used to be. You know what I'm saying? It's like Jesus Christ, you know, my son out here. But then again, I'm 260. I'm cutting down. But uh, that little fucker's fast. But he's been training since he was a little kid, man. So he's a different type of conditioning. But fucker beat me, right? And I was like, God damn. And that shit messed with me. And I, but when I look at that, it's like, okay, I got to understand. I'm not 200 pounds, 180 pounds, 160. I'm not running, goddamn, you know, for two hours straight up through hills and shit, getting ready for fit tests, getting in shape for fights. I'm not doing that. I'm not living in the boxing gym, living in the weight room anymore. I'm a married man with four sons. I'm busy. I don't do drugs and drink and all that. I don't smoke. I don't do nothing. I don't have any of them kind of uh, horrible... Um, habits like like Mike Tyson but and he doesn't I don't know if he drinks I know he smokes right he does shrooms and shit which he said he's gonna be doing shrooms going into the fight but to think that Mike Tyson I think he's gonna realize that he's not what he was it don't take much though it, sh it should not take much from Mike Tyson to get the job done but but again I was hanging with my son in the first couple of races, but he was he 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 was edging me out, and I was like, okay, you know, it is what it is. And I think with Mike Tyson, I, there's the chance that somehow Jake Paul, who doesn't have the experience, my son don't have the experience over me. He has a lot though. He has a lot because he's been training. Um, my son doesn't have the the accolades I have as far as physical. Uh, performance and shit like that and, uh, uh, and and training and stuff like that. He doesn't have that. Um, Jake Paul doesn't have anything like that that compares remotely close to anything Mike Tyson's done. But what Jake Paul has is his youth, his youthfulness. My son has his youthfulness. And, and sometimes that's more than enough to get the job done when you have a little bit of IQ. And that's more than enough to get you over the hump. And with Jake Paul and Mike Tyson, I just I just have a weird feeling, man. Because whether you like Jake Paul or not, Jake Paul can crack. He can hit. Everyone knows that. If he can knock out a young, healthy guy, right, why can't he knock out an old guy who does drugs every single day of his life? We know it's Mike Tyson, but let's just be real. If Jake Paul can knock out these young, in shape, healthy guys, why can't he knock out an old man who smokes weed every day and does shrooms? That's all. I, that's that's my question. So let's let's just be fair about this, because I, I just have a feeling, man, that Jake Paul can pull off the upset. Now we know they're preparing. Mike Tyson's preparing. Look, the last time this man fought in a sanctioned bout was in 2005. Then after that, 15 years later, he fought against Roy Jones in 2020. And you can see in that fight, Mike Tyson was kind of holding back. But that's 2020. That one in 2024. <sighs> but we'll see. 
I think Mike Tyson being in that gym with Ngannou, getting Ngannou ready for Jake Paul, I think that had a lot to do with Mike Tyson feeling like, you know what, I want to give this a go again. But anyway, we'll see how it goes. But this right here is what I want you all to understand. For Mike Tyson and Jake Paul, this is what you're up against. Mike Tyson and Jake Paul, it's a pro-sanctioned fight, so it's a no-kidding boxing match. The record will be on the line for both of them. It's at heavyweight. KOs are allowed, so it's a no-kidding fight. It'll be for eight rounds, the two-minute rounds, and the gloves are 14-ounce gloves. Hey, yo, strap in and get ready for the ride because Jake Paul and Mike Tyson are going to be getting busy. I think it's on 14 November. Let me see if I can find that. I think it's 14 November. I'll tell you right now. Yeah, I think it's... I just read that shit. Uh... Anyway, it's in November. We'll see how it goes. But I just think if Jake Paul hurts that man, I think Jake Paul's going to have to watch his back. I really do. They got some people out here who love Mike Tyson. They love Mike Tyson, man. Some real fanatics. I think somebody can run up on Jake Paul because enough is enough. You want to knock out Woodley. You want to knock out Ben Askren. You want to knock out Nate Robinson. You want to go and beat up Anderson Silva. You know, go fight. Uh, you know, no problem. But Mike Tyson, I mean, come on. That That's ridiculous. That's ridiculous at this point. Anyway, y'all keep cool. Nobody's making Mike Tyson do this. Y'all keep cool. I'm in the breeze.